Okay, so welcome to another video on the Shotcut tutorial series, and we'll be going over how you guys can add image overlays to your video on Shotcut. So with that said, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so right now we're in Shotcut, and I just put up this little simple clip that we're going to be used to edit today and put a image overlay on top of it. Now feel free to pause anywhere in the video so you guys can catch up through all the steps I'm going to go through and any settings that I may use to add this image overlay. So right now we just have our timeline and our video that we're going to be using. So up here this is our playlist folder and that is basically the image that I'm going to be using which is another previous thumbnail of one of my videos. So that's the image I'm going to be using but you guys can use any image that you want to it will all work the same. So what you want to do is just go to the little icon where it says open file and basically select on that and a new window should pop up taking you to your files and folders and you guys can choose whatever image that you might have downloaded through Google and all you have to do is just select it and just open it so you can add it to your playlist on Shotcut. But since this is the image I'm going to be using, I'm just going to select it and as you can see, the image appeared in the preview window. So what I'm going to do next is just come here to the timeline and just select and click on these little three bars and what we're going to do is just add a video track. Once we got that, new video track will appear on top of our footage that we're going to be using. And what we're going to do is just we're going to select our image and we're going to drag it down to the new video track that we just opened to whatever position that you guys want to add it to throughout your video. So I'm just going to place it close to the beginning and there we go. So I'm just going to move the little cursor on top of the image. So as you can see, the image occupies the whole preview window. So we're just going to do some few adjustments so we can see the actual background. Now when you guys are implementing your image, make sure that your image is transparent or PNG. This basically means that there's not going to be any background covering up your video when you place an image overlay. But like this one, this one is too big. So all we have to do is just do some editing and we're going to resize this image. Okay, so in order to resize our image, all we have to do is make sure that it is selected and we're just going to go to filters and then we're just going to go to the plus mark and it will show us all these effects that we can do. So the one we're going to choose is size and position. Once we select that, all we can do is just come to the preview screen and it will give us some little tabs so we can hold on to and make it smaller. As you can see right now that I'm doing and as I drag that down, the image itself becomes pretty small and you can see the background video. So all you have to do is basically position it wherever you guys want to, depending on how you want your overlay to be. So I'm just going to do some little adjustments, make it bigger and make it centered. But it's basically your guys personal preference for whatever image that you guys are using. And as you can see, if we go back here to the settings, there's many settings that we can use in order to adjust our image. But that's pretty much it. So right now we can go is hit on playlist and we're just going to adjust where we want our image to be and how long do we want it. If you want to trim it down or stretch it up, all we have to do is just go to the end of the video and just stretch it out into an appropriate size like I did right here. We're just going to move our cursor to the beginning so I can show you how it would appear on your screen. So it just appears out of nowhere. So what we want to do is add an effect to it. So right now we're just going to add a fade in and fade out effect. So make sure you have your image selected and then we're just going to go back to the filters tab again. Once we're in our filters tab, we want to hit the plus button so we can see all the options that we can add. So we're going to choose fade in video. Once we got that, you can see that the fade in has applied itself, but we're just going to do some minor changes. First, we're just going to change the duration of it and I'm just going to put it around 20 seconds. So once we adjust the duration of that, all we have to do is come down here and make Make sure that the box is checked where it says adjust opacity instead of fade with black so you can have a better transition instead of a fade black transition. We're just going to go back and hit plus and we're going to choose the fade out video. We're going to do the same thing here. Just put it at 20 seconds and make sure that the little box is checked. But it's basically your guys personal preference. Once we got that we just go to playlist and we can see the transition again. So this time instead of appearing out of nowhere, we have a little nice transparent transition into our image. And remember you guys can change the settings so it can fit your video and your personal preference along with how long you want your image to last in your video. And we can see that it fades out there as well. So that's pretty much it the process and we're just going to go back so you guys can see the image and we can come here to the filters so you guys can see all the settings and all the filters that we used in order to make our image overlay on Shotcut. 
So what we use today is size and position, fade in, and fade out video. Now in order to export this video, I have made a shotcut export video on a separate one, but we can go over it real quick. All you have to do is just go to file and then hit export video. And then after that, just save it to whatever file you need to save it to. And the export process should begin. And all you have to do is just wait. So that is basically how you guys can add a image overlay to your videos using Shotcut. Now if you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing because I do make more tutorial videos like these. And I do actually have a playlist of my Shotcut series showing you how to edit videos on Shotcut. But that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.